All right, so I redid my living room recently and I posted it on Reddit. And a lot of people were asking how I did these beams because I did both of these for only $70 total. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I made them. They're made out of styrofoam. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. They look, look a lot like real wood, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it with just a few simple tools. It's not very hard. I'm gonna set up the phone right here. All right, so all you need to do is you need to get a uh, styrofoam insulation sheet from Lowe's or Home Depot. It's about 25 bucks for a one inch thick sheet. It's four foot by eight foot. And you cut it down to whatever size beam you're wanting to do. So I chose mine. I went seven and a half inches wide because I was going to use a two by six and screw it to the ceiling to mount it. So it, once you get your beam or once you get your dimensions ready for your beam, and you decide what you want to use. If you want to use two by six or two by four or two by eight, you get your styrofoam and you cut it one inch wider on either side than the uh, board you're going to use to mount it with. Since this uh, insulation is one inch thick, I decided to go with a uh, two by six and make it make it seven and a half inches wide. So just like that. All right. So what you can do is styrofoam. You can uh, glue it together with a hot glue gun. It's, it sticks good too. It's wicked strong. So what you want to do is you get everything cut to the sizes you're wanting to go with. Like I said, I'm using a two by six to mount it. So I went seven and a half inches wide. It gives me one inch on either side for my, uh, you know, the edges of the beam. So what you'll do is you'll glue it like this, send a little glue across. And I'm only making a one foot long one just to kind of show it. Because usually, you know, when you make it, you'll make it eight foot long or, you know, 16 foot or however big you want to make it. So you glue it. And you want to use a generous amount of glue. You don't want it to come unglued. And you can even toss in uh, a couple screws, um, you know, on the bottom side, shoot them up into it, make it, you know, really strong. But uh, this is just a demonstration. Uh, so when you glue it together, you want to make sure it's nice and flush. You don't want it to be sticking out at all because, you know, the better it looks, you know, it's going to be harder for somebody to tell if it's not real. All right, so you kind of want to just you know, wait till the glue gets pretty dry. This is, it's still a little bit wet. So you just make sure it's got a good strong hold to it. All right. So what I do to make it look like wood grain um, is I just got a wire brush from um, Home Depot when I got the insulation board. It was like, I don't know, 10 bucks for this, nothing crazy. And you just, Drag it across that good. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. You know, it's wood's not perfect. The wood grain's always, you know, the wood grain doesn't look perfect. All right, I'm gonna put this in here to kind of support it while I do this side. And mine isn't really, you know, dry that dry yet. Like when I built them, I don't know. I I glued them all up at first, and then kind of like set them aside, and just did them one by one because it took me uh, four pieces total to do it because my beams are 16 foot long, and they come the sheets are four by eight, so you can only get you know maximum length of eight foot out of each piece, so I had to glue them together, make it uh, 16 foot. But anyways, so you'll... And then you kind of hit like the edge a little bit, like this, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but so this edge of the styrofoam, it's a lot softer than the face, so you don't want to dig in too much right here. You don't want to put, you know, too much pressure because it's definitely going to show up a lot more than just, you know, this side. All right, and then what I did next, uh, I used a palm sander for it, but I don't really want to make a whole lot of dust right now. I'm doing this inside. So I'm just going to use a sanding brush and kind of just 
round the edges, uh, you know, give a little bit of a softer profile, just like wood. on a little bit so you can see, see it's all kind of scratched up just like wood grain. Right. So what I used to uh what I used to paint it all is I got um I got the chalk paint right here. I can't remember what color I went with. I just had them tint it like a you know color that I liked. It was like log cabin or something like that. I'm sure it doesn't matter, you know uh I used to use the chalk paint because it's really thick. Uh, pretty much sticks to anything too. It's um, so I figured it'd be perfect this application. Um, all right, so and um, so if you do end up deciding to toss some screws right in the edges to kind of you know hold it a little more firm, you know it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt because then you're gonna have to you know, fill those in with caulk, silicone, you know, wood filler, pretty much anything that'll harden up and stick. That way you don't have a bunch of holes there. But you're able to get it with just, um, you know, glue. And you know, that's perfect. I put, um, when I did mine, like with the eight footers, I just put a screw in each end because it's kind of hard to hold both ends flush up and get the middle flushed up at the same time because I was doing it by myself. Oh, one thing you can also do is so, uh, like, you know, if you want to make it a little more rustic looking, you can kind of bang it up a little bit. Like, you can even use this end of the brush and kind of, you know, push it down a little bit, make it look like wood knots and all that. Like, see how that looked. Yeah, so you just, you know, you do the, that and you paint all the way around it, paint all, all three sides of it. And then the way you're going to mount it, is so say you know you got your ceiling right here you're gonna get your two by six you don't have to use full two by sixes you don't have to run them the entire length because I mean styrofoam is wicked light you know so it's not much weight's gonna be hanging from these so you can toss it right up on your ceiling you know screw it into a joist uh, ceiling joist get that hit and what you do is then you'll slide this up just like that and then you can screw it in from the side of it and then it'll just hang there like that. And it's just, I mean, it'll just be an open, uh, you know, I mean, in theory, it's gonna be an open box right there, but you know, nobody's ever gonna be able to tell because, I mean, see that? It looks, I don't know if you can see it too well with the camera or not, but it looks just like wood green. I mean, it looks like a good piece of, good piece of wood. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, pretty simple, uh, like I said, uh, I did those two beams, they're 16 foot long, seven and a half by seven and a half inches wide. And it took me um, two sheets to do it and they're about 25 bucks a sheet at Lowe's or Home Depot, whichever one you wanna to go to. And then the paint, I got um, whatever size this is, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty small size, 29 fluid ounces. I got this size paint and it did uh, both the beams with about you know a little more than half of the jar left so you know you can you can do this relatively cheap I mean if you have the tools like you can use a skill saw to cut it or a table saw or even just a uh, utility knife to cut the styrofoam because if you use a utility knife you cut your straight line and then you you know you score it and you snap it I just use a skill saw it's you know easier for me but table saw works as well but yeah so you can do it pretty much with I mean pretty much no experience and it's really not that hard and it looks awesome. But alright, well, I appreciate you guys watching.